So we made Viking Blood 2, we wrecked it, we tasted it. Today we're gonna bottle it and taste it again! Hi, I'm Brian. I'm Derica, and you're watching City Steady Brews. And as we said, on uh, or about, let me see, let me see, 7-3. So that is July 3rd, we made Viking Blood 2.0. Today is September 17th, so it's been over two months since this was made, right? We racked this on July 28th, so it's actually been about six weeks since this was racked and sitting aging. So what I want to do today is we're going to rack this again to get it off the lease. We're going to take a final reading to make sure everything's where it is, and then we're going to bottle it. Now here's the funny thing. You guys have seen us rack stuff before, and if you haven't, there's lots of videos that show it. You've also seen us bottle stuff before. So in an effort to make this video less than, oh, say, three hours long, we're going to not show you all that. We're, instead, we're going to cut right to the nitty gritty, which is the readings just to make sure and the tasting okay so we have it in our pitcher and what i'm going to do is just take a quick reading on this and that's you know turkey baster thing graduated cylinder look at that color it smells incredible derica actually said it smells like red wine more so than mead and i i have to agree it actually smells very sweet now i know this was at 1010 last time we checked it. 1.010 gravity, I should say. Now it started at 1.100 original gravity, which that would be a 12.9% alcohol by volume. Let's find out what it is now. We're just making sure that nothing's changed. I don't really expect that it has. It might have gone slightly drier, but I doubt it. And I'm gonna go with same, 1.010. It might be like 1.009. And that's, you know, so we're going to call this 12.9% ABV, which is respectable for a wine. Nothing wrong with that. Grab our Belgian beer tasting glasses, and I'm just going to pour some off. That's enough for a taste. And now, we're going to bottle this up. See you in a few minutes. And through the magic of television, bottles of wine. Now, some of these are one liter bottles. Um, these two, I think, are one liter, and that's a 750, I believe. Or maybe all three of them are one liter. I'm not really sure. There was just a little bit left over, and Derica already volunteered to take care of that for us. She hasn't done it yet, though. So now, what we have here is our sample. Now, right off the bat, this lends itself to comparison with the other Viking Blood. We did the one-year taste test of it, and it came out quite nice. We really, really liked it. It was a little drier than we really wanted, but it was good. Off the bat, this is not quite as rich a color, okay? That was just a touch darker, but this is a nice gem red. I mean, it's clear. There's nothing bad in the appearance of it. The smell, I definitely get that tart cherry smell, which is actually really nice. It smells like a combination of tart cherries and grape wine. Here, just have a, have a smell, see what you think. I smell a little bit of alcohol too. I don't get any footy smell though. There's no, no uh, objectionable, mm. objectionable smells. It smells rich and sweet. It really does. It smells like something I would like to drink. Go ahead and have a taste. Now I remember when we tasted this before. Oh. Oh. I get the tannin yeah. and the tart up front. And then it's a subtle sweet. It's not a boom sweet. The honey came back. It's a, it's a subtle I taste the sweet. honey in it now. Where When we tried this last time, I said, well, this was better. This is better than the Viking Blood 1 was when we first tried that. But this, I now get that real tartness of the tart cherries. Like she says, a and subtle I, sweetness comes back. The honey flavor is actually kind of right there now. And the after effect is really crisp and refreshing. Um, I get that similar mouthfeel from ciders that I drink. Yeah. Yeah, have some more. It is nice. This is very good. I actually um, prefer this to the original Viking Blood, uh, which is a weird thing to say, but this is easier to make. 
and it's tastier. Um, it actually is a lot. It's if you don't like better. overly sweet things, I think you will enjoy this immensely. Now, you also know by now you can alter these recipes. I mean, just add even a half pound more honey to that mix and it's going to come out significantly sweeter. That'll be like another 15 points or so. So it'd be like a 1025. It would be nice and sweet. I'm just afraid with the tart cherries and cherries in general, that whole cough syrup like flavor. This, this is, doesn't happen. No, this But if you made this too sweet, it might. That's true. That's my fear. But overall, this is wonderful. Yeah, the more I drink of it, the more I'm getting the different fruity note um, nuances. Mm -hmm. It's really I'm getting quite the pleasant. cherry note. Definitely get the tannic. It almost, I almost get a, an oaked note, but it's not. We could oak this and see what it turns out like. I think I still have a spiral around somewhere. Might be nice. Yeah, a lot of people oaked the original Viking blood and they loved it. Um, but that's all we got. Our verdict is yay! Uh, one thing before we go, we wanted to. We want to talk about the no, no, no. The I'm Patreon. Laughing. I'm laughing at myself. We want to talk about the Patreon just a little bit. We don't like to harp on it too much, but people have told us that if we mention it, people will come. So we're mentioning it. Essentially, what we have is we've built a community on Facebook. We have a private Facebook group. We call it the City Steading VIP Lounge. In order to get in there, you have to sign up through Subscribestar or Patreon. We do have three different levels. Only the top two levels get access to the VIP Lounge, but you're probably wondering, what do I get for being in the VIP Lounge? You get to see this all the time and people interact with us they ask us questions it's a way to get one-on-one -on -one with us ask us questions show us your stuff see what you know and you can ask you can show us say hey Brian I just made this what do you think of this and I'll give you my opinion you might not always like it but I'll give it I'm just joking we do random live views we'll do one-on-one -on -one chats with people if they're available and willing actually we uh no, keep talking, keep talking. <laughs> we randomly film what we're cooking for dinner. See, like right now, I'm making a video. Hi, guys. And this is going to go into our VIP lounge. <laughs> so we're videoing, videoing. Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have a great time. It's lots of fun. It's very casual, very relaxed. And we hope to see you there. That's all we got for you for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And have a great day. Bye-bye. We made Viking Blood 2, we racked it, we tasted it a while ago, and today we're going to bottle it and taste it again. How was that? That was an extended remix version of your original well, version. Was it okay still? I think it was like <coughs> 8 seconds. <coughs> do you want to do one more just to, just to see if you can give it a little more excitement and to the point, maybe? Sure. So we made Viking Blood 2, we racked it, we tasted it, today we're going to bottle it and taste it again! Is that better? And then you can decide which one you like. <laughs> I think I made the crazy eyes face, but that's <laughs> alright.